This meeting is being recorded. Good morning, everyone. Dan Bates, President and CEO, Greater Hamilton Chamber of Commerce. We're glad you could join us this morning. So we're going to hear all about the first ever in Hamilton Hispanic Festival uh, coming up in September. But before we do that, um, well, I'll tell you what the protocol is. We are on a Zoom meeting. So if you have questions of the speaker, I'm sure that uh, they won't mind if you either raise your hand or interrupt them to ask get those questions answered. If you're on Facebook Live, type your questions in and Laura will make sure that the speaker gets those questions answered for you. So uh, you know who I am. We're going to find out who all of you are. And I'm going to turn that over to Tiffany. Hey, um, I'm Tiffany Grubb, Director of, Ham Director of Marketing with the Greater Hamilton Chamber. Um, I'm just going to go around my screen. So first, we will start with uh, Karini. So I'm Karina. Um, I'm from Modern Psychiatry and Wellness. I'm actually filling in for um, Jennifer. She was actually originally invited to this meeting um, and she's not with us anymore. So I'm excited to hear about what you guys have planned. Awesome. Thank you for being with us. Lynn? Good morning, everybody. My name is Lynn Gar. I'm with uh, YWCA Hamilton formerly Director of Domestic Violence um, Program, currently um, Director of Engagement and Advocacy. If any of you know Sharmina Curtis, she was our previous director. So she is no longer with us and this is my new position and it's good to see Adriana and Ashley again. Great, Jason Michael Miller. Hi, everyone. Good morning. I'm Jason Michael Miller. I am the Director of Membership and Engagement, and it's lovely to be with you all today. And Martha? Hi, good morning. My name is Martha, and I'm currently an intern at the Chamber. Awesome. And then I'm going to turn it back to either Dan or Laura. I guess I'll pick it up. So Adriana and Ashley, you are our presenters today, and I know you have a great presentation ready for us. We're anxious to hear about the Hispanic Festival and what's going on in Hamilton. Good morning, my name is Adriana Reyes, and I am the bilingual specialist at Hamilton CD Schools. And also um, I'm planning this uh, Hispanic Festival. I am the chairperson or chairman of the chairwoman for the festival. And along with me is my very special student, Hi, my name is Ashley Santiago. I'm just an assistant to Adriana in this entire um, program and organization. Um, do you want us to go ahead and start with the presentation? Go right ahead. Okay. So, um, let me go ahead and put it on our presentation. While she's doing that, we'll give you a minute. Uh, Vanessa, you wanna go ahead and introduce yourself? Oh, hi. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. I'm Vanessa Cummings, the pastor of Payne Chapel AME Church in Hamilton and with Ms. V Consulting. And I also am running for state representative for the Hamilton Oxford area in Fairfield Township. Thank you. So let's start our presentation. This is our um, logo for the Ham Hamilton Hispanic Festival that is going to be held on September 28th uh, from two to 8 p.m. here at Markham Park. You're all welcome to celebrate with us and start um, this celebration. Hopefully that can become a yearly thing. That's our hope uh, for us that this um, celebration of our culture and just being Hispanic or Latino um, just welcomes everyone and to be welcoming everywhere that we wanna reach uh, everyone to learn about our culture and also to just get to know us a little bit more. So with that. So the importance of the Hispanic Festival, this is something that we came about mainly because last year, Ashley, Diana, and myself started um, this 
festival and trying to promote and trying to have it done uh, through the 17 Strong micro grant. Um, unfortunately, it was not um, one of the selected um, micro grants uh, um, applications, but this year we strive to persevere um, to become and get it done once again. So we submitted our application and we worked really hard on it. We did our presentation even that day. And so just to have this first Hispanic festival, just like you, as you read, it's a celebration of a vibrant and diverse cultures. Just the different um, communities that make up the Hispanic community in our city. Um, as you will know, the, the Hamilton, the city of Hamilton has become more attractive to a lot of Hispanics and just having more businesses in our city and just becoming more diverse. Um, that is more, uh, people from Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, a lot of these um, people are constantly coming to our city. Um, it's a, a, a very lovely city where you can work and you can go to different um, businesses to enjoy the different parks. So this is something that it attracts a lot of our community, uh, mainly the work. So we just wanna have this as a unity um, to come together and honor and share the beauty of our heritage. Anything you wanna say, Ashley? Okay. So as you see on this graph, um, this has been a steady growth over the years for the city, uh, for Hamilton City Schools. Since 1997, there was only like less than 50 students uh, when we when I went to school. Um, I graduated in 2001 from Hamilton, and I'm very proud that I now get to work for the for the schools and helping all the other families that are newcomers, and that I can welcome them every time they come in and try to enroll one of their students. Um, so, if you see the steady growth for this school year. Up until this is the graph um, shows a little over 2,000 students for the school year in our district. We don't have numbers of families, how many families live here, but you can see now that for 2023, 2024 school year, there's almost like 2,200 uh, 2200 students in our district. And just the steady growth uh, in numbers, you can see how mm -hmm. this has become a very family oriented for Hispanics and Latinos uh, that want to become part of Hamilton and the businesses that have grown um, here, like Quesadillas Doña Prieta, who she started in her home kitchen and then became a, a business owner here um, just a few blocks away from the chamber. Also, we want to um, show that this expansion of our community is not only growing in this um, population, but also growing in numbers as to businesses and homeowners. The, the Hispanic community, um, our main goal is to work really hard and become our homeowners and just become a better um, person and uh, persevere into what we're striving to do, which has become part of the community and um, learn English, which sometimes is hard for Hispanics to do, mainly because they focus so much on work and there's very little time for them to go to school or learn in a, in a timely manner. Um, most of our elders rely on us, the students or the, um, our youth to translate for us. Um, and one of the things that we also want to create with this Hispanic festival is become one of the um, um, communities that we can help you and learn how to either speak Spanish or phrases in English for our community. So these are the festival details. Um, again, it's going to be on September 28th, 2024 from 2 to 8 p.m. On the location of Yalmarkin Park, there will be performances such as salsa dancing, um, lots of music from each state, I mean, from each country. Uh, there will be 
uh, dancers there from doing traditional dancing from Latin America. And there will be lots of more business owning um, companies and lots of food vendors there. The festival is organized by a committee of eight volunteers, community members representing the four local organizations. So this is where our festival is gonna take place. Um, we're gonna have uh, food vendors and trucks on Dayton Street. We're gonna block off that area and just have very diverse um, food. As a community, we celebrate everything with food and dance. So if you come and celebrate with us, you will be learning how to dance a little bit of salsa. We're gonna have some dancers here to hopefully um, show you how to do the techniques and um, start the celebration with us through dance. And also the, di the different types of food that we're gonna have here. Hopefully we'll have Mexican food, uh, food from Peru and Puerto Rico and um, Dominican Republic. Um, also the city, um, the police um, and the fire department are gonna be present and they're gonna be placed right here on North 2nd Street. Um, so all the, wherever you see the blue lines, that's where our vendors are going to be. That's like the YWCA, First Financial, and um, the chamber that are gonna be having a booth the, the, these um, profit and nonprofits are going to be set up around the, the Mark and Park. And just the impact of our festival. Well, through this festival and our first ever here in Hamilton, it's just to showcase the vibrant celebration of our culture, community, and connection. Anticipated to be a landmark event, the festival aims to foster a deeper understanding and appreciation of Hispanic traditions and contributions among all attendees. Through a rich sharing of culture, music, dance, and culinary delights, it will be, uh, I'm sorry, it will offer a dynamic platform for cross-cultural exchange and learning, strengthening the Latino connection to the broader Hamilton community. Envisioned as a catalyst for economic growth, the festival is expected to draw visitors from across the region, boosting local businesses and showcasing Hamilton as a hub of cultural diversity. By providing opportunities for local Hispanic artists, performers, and entrepreneurs to share their talents and products, the festival will also serve as an incubator for creativity and innovation, contributing to the economic empowerment of the Hispanic community. Above all, the festival's desired impact is to leave a lasting legacy of unity and pride. It aims to inspire the next generation, promote inclusivity, and build bridges within the diverse tapestry of American society. As attendees immerse th themselves in the festivities, the hope is that they will carry forward the spirit of the festival, nurturing an environment where cultural heritage is celebrated and all community members are valued and respected. So for our, to have our uh, festival, we are asking for donation and sponsorships and these are the different levels. We have been so grateful to the chamber and other businesses around the area that have been so gracious and uh, sponsoring us and just being there to support our festival and just having this sense of community with everyone here has been great. Um, with Hamilton City Schools, Baden, High School, and just different um, organizations that are supporting us. These are the different organizations that we want to thank. There's are only a few of them that are so far um, supported us. Uh, we're still striving to have more on here, but we really thank all these sponsors for just being there um, throughout this process and just helping us also learn what it takes to um, leave or, or start this process of um, getting our festival um, to fruition. We thank you for um, allowing us to speak throughout your meeting. Um, but there, there are so many more things that we want to share with you. So please come to our event on September 28th at Markham Park from 2 to 8. It's going to be a great celebration and we just would love to have you celebrate with us. Uh, 
Um, uh, again, thank you so much for um, having us here. Thank you for listening to us. And something I want you to consider about this is all those celebration is a, a high key point on this festival. It also is the appreciation we need to give to Hispanics. Um, because as Adriana said a couple slides ago, the growth of Hispanic students, they rise in such a short period amount of time in a couple, in less than three decades, I mean, three yeah, decades, mm -hmm. they rise and, and they inflated all the way high. And if students are, the population of Hispanic students are rising, so are the population of business, businesses, of just citizens in general, citizens who live in Hamilton, who um, all are part of America. And a big consideration you have to take is that although, although, I'm sorry. Yeah. They can't uh, speak the language, maybe. Al although maybe there will be negativity towards Latinos here in the US, there's also positivity we include, for example, economic economic diversity and so on and diversity is a big key point to making america a better a better place a better country a better nation and festivals and organizations just like this as well is helping the nation to becoming a better place and as if that's the whole point of why latinos are here for a better to live the american dream to live in a better life so the way you can help is by helping these Latinos who came here to a better life by allowing them and letting them know they are included, they are welcomed here in this country we call it the United States. Do you guys have any questions? Thank you, Thank you. for having us um, just be a part of your morning meeting. Of course we have questions. Um, and I'm gonna start with the first one. Um, and a lot of this you have kind of answered or at least touched on, but could you talk about like emotionally and mentally why this is so important um, now, uh, especially for the Hispanic community? Right now, I, get, I think it's a great way to start something to be as diverse as our community is, because if you see us, there are so many uh, of us that look Native American or look black or look white. Um, There's so many diversities within our community that sometimes um, it's not perceived. Um, and we wanna showcase that in our festival. We wanna showcase our different um, native culture where we come from. We just wanna showcase how we celebrate, um, and especially being, it's very important to show our youth that this is possible, that you are part of Hamilton and that we bring a lot of positivity to our neighborhood, especially where, where Ashley and I live in the Jefferson neighborhood here in Hamilton. And we just strive to make it a better place to live and to also work and enjoy the different businesses that are on there, especially on East Avenue, like the Garcia store and Marty's um, restaurant. And also there's another one, uh, La Oaxaqueña. La Oaxaqueña. Thank you, Ashley. And um, on High Street, there's El Comal. So all these businesses are just a few of them who are starting out to be, hopefully in the next few years, um, to be able to be seen as a new uh, business um, corridor where you can enjoy and walk around the area and just enjoy the parks, the Jefferson Park, the Boys and Girls Club, and walk around to have uh, a lunch meeting or just invite someone to taste this new foods that are here in the city. So I have another question, which you may not be able to answer, so I'm kind of putting you on the spot here. Um, you know, the uh, rapid growth of the population in Hamilton, is it similar to the region around us or is Hamilton showing greater percentage of growth than like Cincinnati and other communities around us? We don't have numbers, but we have seen is that um, the families that have been here 
for over 30 years, um, they are um, having this positive impact on our brothers and sisters back in Mexico or Guatemala or El Salvador, wherever we are from. Um, they're having a positive impact on letting them know that this um, is a great city to live in, to work and um, have your kids grow up and have a better um, education and future overall. So it just, uh, I, I feel like Hamilton is attracting a lot of this um, Hispanics and Latinos just to be be here, live here. And also it's affordable to um, buy their house and just have a sense of community. Anything you want to Somebody say? Somebody else's turn to ask that? questions. It's like, Vanessa, do you have a question? Yes. Um, I, I don't know if you're familiar. They used to have, we've been having the Unidiversity Festival in Oxford for a number of years. And I'm not sure yes. they're doing that this year because the person who was running it is no longer at Miami to put it together. So I was just wondering if you're able to make sure that the community that supported Unidiversity is aware of this to bring that momentum to you in Hamilton because you know, diversity became a big cultural festival that drew people from all over the region and some who traveled far and wide just to come for that. And I think this sounds like it's going to pick up where that left off, which is fantastic. Yes, definitely. Um, we have been in talks with the university because of the person that was um, doing that. She uh, She's no longer there. Um, we're trying to connect with someone else. Um, we haven't done that yet, but we're we're trying to connect um, just with the students and just having them um, celebrate with us and just have a booth, hopefully be a part of our celebration. Okay, and if you um, have some flyers or something that I can share through social media or whatever, we can do that in Oxford because I'm sure a lot of people, I live in Oxford and a lot of people in Oxford would support this because they supported Unidiversity for so many years and it was a great festival and a great cultural celebration. Yeah, so we have a Facebook page and a website. If you go okay. to um, Hamilton Hispanic Festival in the search box for, uh, uh, for uh, Facebook, you okay. can follow our page and just receive a lot of notifications that we're doing um, throughout the week. And also, um, so uh, clicking on going to the event or interested on the event will allow you to also invite your friends through Facebook and just letting them know that this is happening here in Hamilton in September. And Got if you it. go to our website, it's at hamiltonhispanicfestival.com and you can also see um, different links to be our sponsor, donate, and be a, ven a vendor there. Okay, thank you. I, I found it and I'm going to share it on our um on one of my page on a NAACP page at least and share it some other places as well. This is great. Thank you. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So I I, I do have one more question. Um are you gonna have flyers to put in um you know businesses windows and stuff like that? Yes. Um we're going to have uh, flyers and also um they're going the grass. What are they called? I'm sorry, my I forgot the names. Like, um, like posters or yeah. um yeah. posters okay. to put to be placed in outside your homes in the garden yeah. or when you, on the sidewalks on the, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna have we also have business cards that we've been handing out as um the chamber was so gracious to invite us um to be part of the beer booth. Um we uh, were able to um talk to people and welcoming them and um um, inviting them to celebrate on this day with us. So that was a great way to also promote uh, the festival. And we also have them added on the Explore Hamilton app and they're on the Chamber's um, community uh, event page. Jason, did you have a question? I do. Thank you, Tiffany. Uh, first, I want to affirm Adriana and Ashley, that was a wonderful presentation. I could tell that you both are very passionate and well-informed, which, which made us more informed, so thank you. Um, 
I just had some questions. So how can people get more involved and help support? Is there a board? Um, is there is, is the Facebook page where people would go to? How, how can people get uh, involved? If you want to become a volunteer, we would have a um, Google form coming out uh, possibly the start of August, uh, the beginning of August, and you can become a volunteer there. We would need lots of help. Um, and also if you're going to be, become a sponsor or just donate, um, even $50 is a great um, way to help us uh, make this possible. Um, um, another way to help us will be just promoting this event, yes. um, letting everyone you know, uh, invite them and just having them come and celebrate. Thank you. Well, I'm impressed because your event is not until September and you seem to be very well organized. So um, many, many times we have somebody doing an event and they're two weeks out and they're just just now having the conversations you guys are having. So um, I think I'm sure it's going to be a big success. It's a team effort. I'm sorry, um, Jason, I also forgot. We do have a committee and we meet, um, we've been meeting at Baden High School. So if you ever want to join us, Martha can give you the details, but um, we will meet, our next meeting will be August 3rd at 10 a.m. And thank you, Dan. And um, Adriana, I've got one question. So if a business uh, would like to participate in via vendor, I'm assuming that information is on your website? Yes, it's on our website. Um, you can, everything is on there. Um, you can certainly let us know if you have any other questions. Um, you can send us an email at Hamilton Hispanic Festival at gmail.com. Jason? And I just want to share um, also that I'm very proud of um, to share that since the inception of the Hispanic Festival, Ashley Santiago has been, has been an invaluable partner um, in this journey. Uh, the, her dedication and creativity and hard work has been instrumental in bringing the, our vision to life. And together we have created an event to celebrate our vibrant culture and unite the community. I am very grateful for her unwavering support and commitment. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Adriana, I had one more question. So you yeah. had mentioned before that it's, it's difficult for Spanish speaking students to learn English while they're going to school and helping elders and family. And that makes so much sense. Um, do you have any ideas of how we as a community can help just welcome everyone and and, and um, help spread, you know, knowledge of English translations and Spanish tr translations so that everyone can communicate. Um, what what are your suggestions? You want to take that? Well, I think patience is a high key point whenever um, interfering with a student who you know um, or who you uh, or see that doesn't understand or speak English very well and they're trying their best very slowly they would um, get the words out and I think patience is a patience and listening to what they're trying to say or what they could be saying is a very high key point not only patience but also like um, letting them know that you're okay with like listening to them and you feel comfortable listening to them because it is terrifying trying to spit out words you really don't comprehend yourself and it coming out of your mouth wondering if it's the right pr pronunciation or if it's even the right words um another thing is just in school in general there they take some kids take esl classes but and i don't really know if there's anything else to do besides that but patience and listening to them is a really high key point that you should um take into consideration when you're when you come across someone who um doesn't speak english properly and something that you made us aware of, which i'm so thankful that you help us with this is um having these uh essential words um to be able to communicate uh whether in spanish or in english and thank you for creating this list of words that are going to be so helpful to have around our festival. Um, and just be welcoming. The Hispanic community is very welcoming. So every time you see someone and you acknowledge them by saying hello or good morning, 
it's a great way to start and make them making us feel welcome yeah. anywhere we go um, to somebody's house or somebody um, a, a um, business or any any place um, we always come in with a smile and um, a good morning or good afternoon this is the the normal way of greeting um, each other in our countries and that's something that you could you guys could um, make uh, do to help us feel welcome. Looks like Jason's using his Spanish there. <laughs> uh, which is very true. And um, if any organization, any business needs any uh, documents or information translated, the chamber does have a translation service. We have 186 different languages we can translate flyers, any, any Word document, um, you can always email me, uh, Laura, L-A-U-R-A, at hamilton-ohio.com, or just give the chamber a call, 513-844-1500, and we are more than happy to translate information for you to be able to get that out to um, customers, to employees, anyone that you need to share information with. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions, Dan? Nope, I'm 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 covered. Okay. Anything else you and Adriana and Ashley would like to share? Well, we really want to thank you guys for listening to our presentation, for supporting us mostly. Um, this is this festival has been a dream to make come true. Um, as Adriana said, we did apply for a micro grant last year. And it didn't go as successful as we wanted it to. But this year is different. This year we made it happen. And we hope to make it happen every year. Um, we appreciate your support so much. And I, again, I, I want you guys to take into consideration, this, is, this festival isn't just a celebration. It's also appreciation for all the Hispanics, for all the impact we, we make for the community, for the city, for the nation itself. We thank you guys for listening to us. Thank you. You are very welcome. You did an amazing presentation. We're super excited. The chamber is definitely in support of this event. We're happy to help out with anything that you all need from us. Please keep us informed. Um, we'll be back in a couple of weeks for our next coffee and conversation on uh, Tuesday, August 13th, 9 a.m. Uh, and this coffee and all of our coffees are on our Facebook page. So you can always go back and resource any of the past presentations there. And then we also record and be on our YouTube channel. So if there's ever any time you need to check anything out, um, you can be watching this at 2 a.m. at the comfort of your home if you need to. Um, so thank you. We appreciate you two being with us. And we will see you all in a couple of weeks. I look like you have a question. There? I do have one last question. All right. Is this a rain or shine event? Just so people know, like it's yes, you know, okay. it's rain or shine. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna pray for sunshine. Absolutely. We're well, pray. we're <laughs> turning that over to you, Vanessa. That's your department. You have to <laughs> handle that for us. Join with me. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. We would definitely need it. Um, if if for any reason it starts raining, hopefully it's just a passing through rain. It's September, so we'll have great weather. Yeah, and share this on your pages and invite people to participate. That's what I just, I just shared it on two pages and share it on your pages and invite people and help drum this up. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Yes, we certainly have um, a confirmed band. It's called Cumbia Latina and they uh, perform salsa, merengue, and cumbia so you're going to listen to our music and just hear the vibrancy of it wow thank you thank you jason did you have something oh, you're muted no i i i you're got good. my okay. question answered thank you <laughs> nope, no problem any more questions nope Awesome. We will see you all in a couple of weeks. Thank you so much for sharing with us. We're super excited about this 
uh, inaugural goal event and look forward to many more in the future. So all right. we will see you all in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Everyone have a Thank great you. day.